Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you the complete installation setup of wamp server latest version 3.3.0 on windows 11 operating system step by step please follow the installation steps very carefully so that you can avoid errors like dll files not found or vc runtime files not found and also please make sure that you have a internet connection with good bandwidth for downloading couple of software files okay then before we kick start the installation of wamp server first we need to download and install the latest version of microsoft visual c++ redistributable package this is very 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 important trust me without this if you are installing the wamp server your installation will not get succeed in fact you'll get errors like dll files not found or vc runtime files not found so in order to avoid these type of errors please install the latest version of redistributable package based on your system architecture my system architecture is 64 bit so i am going to download and install the 64 bit latest version of microsoft visual c++ redistributable package okay then let's start downloading the redistributable package open google in any web browser and search with the keyword redistributable package hit enter On the screen you can see the Google search results. Click on this first link. You will be directed to the official Microsoft website. On the screen you can see Microsoft Visual C++ redistributed latest supported downloads. Just scroll down. Here Visual Studio 2015 and 2022. Here you can see based on the architecture we are going to download. This for 32 bit and this for the 64 bit. My system architecture is 64 bit so I am going to download this one. Just click on this link. Okay your download got started. The file size is 24 MB. Click on Show All. You can see the file got downloaded. Click on Show in Folder. It will direct to the Downloads folder. This is the Downloads folder, and this is the downloaded software. Now we are going to install this redistributable package on our machine. Right click and run as administrator. You will be prompted for the user control access. Just click on S. Yes. On the screen you can see Setup Wizard, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 and 22 redistributable 64-bit version. Just accept the license. Just click on Install. You can see the setup progress. So finally, we have successfully installed latest version of redistributable package that is 2015-22-64 bit version on our machine. Just click on close. Okay. Before moving on to the WAM server installation part, there are some prerequisites. First, please install Notepad++ text editor software or Sublime text editor software, whichever you are familiar for writing the code. Secondly, please install Google Chrome web browser software or Mozilla Firefox. or opera or any other web browser software choice of yours okay by the way why do we need these softwares well at the time of wm server installation setup wizard will prompt you whether to override default notepad text editor with any other text editor software and similarly it will also prompt you whether to override default internet explorer with any other web browser software for this reason we need these two software at the time of installation i will show you trust me once the server is installed on your machine later overriding is really a tedious task for you so i have already downloaded the notepad++ google chrome web browser softwares on my machine because i am comfortable with notepad++ software for writing php code and executing the same code in google chrome web browser okay then let's move on to the main content that is complete setup of wm server installation this we are going to do in four step in the first step we are going to download the wm server software from the official website in the second step we are going to install the download wm server on our machine that is on windows 11 operating system in the third step we will do some configuration kind of setting up the environment in the final step we are going to execute small php script in order to test whether the software is working or not okay then let's move on to the first step that is download in this download step we will download wm server the latest version 3.3.0 from the official website that is wm server i will show you how to do that open google in any web browser and search with the keyword wm server hit enter on the screen you can see the google search results the first link you can see the official website wmserver.com just click on this it will direct to the official website that is wm server on the screen you can see just click on this start using wm server it will direct to the downloads page this is the downloads page here you can see 64 bit version and 32 bit version I am going to download for 64 bit although it is showing 3.2.6 the latest version will be 3.3.0 just click on this you do not need to fill this form just click on this you can download it directly it will direct to the server download page this is the server download page you can see download latest version wm server 3.3.0 64 bit version i am going to download this latest version just click on this on the screen you can see your download will start shortly in another 5 seconds Okay our download got started the file size is 644 MB click on show all you can see the progress of the download 
It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. It may take few minutes. Finally, our download got completed. Just click on show in folder. It will direct to the downloads page. This is my PC download folder and this is a software which we have downloaded so far. Now let's move on to the next step that is installation step. In this installation step, we are going to install the downloaded software of WAMP server version 3.3.0 on Windows 11 operating system. And I request you to follow the installation steps very carefully in order to avoid the errors. Okay then, we will start installing WAMP server on Windows 11 operating system. Okay, go back to the downloads folder and right click on the WAM server, select run as administrator. Whenever you are installing any software on your machine, I strongly recommend you to select run as administrator. Click on run as administrator. Sometimes you may be prompted for user control access. Please click on yes. On the screen, you can see the setup wizard of WAM server. As a first step, we need to select the setup language. By default, it will be the English. Let it be. Just click on OK. We need to accept the license agreement. Accept. Click on next. This is very important step. You can see it is telling us to read the information carefully before continuing. These are all the prerequisites which we need to follow before installing. Like do not install WAM server over an existing version. Install WAM server in a folder or a close Skype, disable IIS and below you can see visual C++ packages. This is the reason why I have installed latest version of C++ packages at the starting of this WM server installation. So we are meeting the prerequisite requirements and we are good to go with the further installation. Just click on next. In the next step, we need to select the destination location where the WM server to be installed. By default, it will be the C drive. Let it be the C drive. Just click on next. In the next step, we need to select the components that should be installed. There are two types of installations. One is default installation and the other is a custom installation. We'll go with the default installation itself. So you can see the latest version of MariaDB 10.10.2 and the latest version of MySQL 8.0.31. In the below, you can see the current selection requires at least 1.50 GB of disk space. So please meet that requirement and just click on next. In the next step, it will ask for the shortcuts to be created. By default, it will create shortcut on desktop. Just click on next. Now finally, setup is now ready to begin installing WAM server 64 bit on your computer. We can review the settings of default installation and then click on install. You can see the progress of the installation. It will take some time. Well, on the desktop screen, you can see it created a shortcut and also you can see that setup wizard showed a pop-up message telling us that Edge will be used as browser by WAM server. Do you want to choose another browser installed on your system? Here, we are going to override this Edge browser with Google Chrome software. I will show you how to do that. Just click on S. By default, it will show you the Microsoft Edge application. Now we are going to override with Google Chrome. Click on this PC, go to C drive, program files, double click on this Google folder, double click on Chrome folder, application, and here you can see Chrome. Just click on this and open. It successfully took the Google Chrome web browser. On the screen, you can see one more pop-up message showing that notepad.exe will be used as text editor by WAM server. Do you want to choose another text editor installed on your system? Here again, we are going to override Notepad text editor with Notepad++ software. I will show you how to do that. Just click on yes. By default, it will show Notepad text editor location. Just click on this PC, click on C drive, go to the program files. Here you can see Notepad++ folder. Double click on this and select this Notepad++ application. Click on open. This tells us that it successfully overrided the two softwares. That is Edge with Google Chrome and Notepad with Notepad++. This is the reason why I insisted you to pre-install these two softwares before the installation. Okay, on the screen, you can see the installation progress. Setup wizard is doing rest of the things. On the screen, you can see the setup wizard is showing some information. Just, you can ignore this. Just click on next. Finally, we have successfully installed WM Server 64-bit 3.3.0 on your computer. Just click on finish. Okay then, let's move on to the third step. In this step, we will do some configurations in order to set up the environment. Let's move on. First, we need to start the WM services. Double click on this. It may prompt you for the user control access. Just click on yes. On the screen, you can see it is starting WM server 64-bit services. You can see flash messages. This may take some time. You can see the message that WM server 64-bit services started. All services running, that is MariaDB on, MySQL DB on, Apache server on. Check below the tray icon. Here, it should turn to green. Then only all services are running. If it is not green color, then we need to restart the services one more time. Okay, select and click on this. You can see localhost PHP MyAdmin. Just click on localhost. We have overrided. Microsoft Edge web browser software with Google Chrome web browser. 
that's why it is opening google chrome else it might be opening in microsoft edge this is your wm server localhost web page here you can see your project your aliases php my admin and your virtual host under the projects you can see no project sets to create a new one just create a direct in www folder i'm going to show you how to do that we are going to open ww folder in c drive click on this pc c drive here you can see wm 64 bit folder double click on this here you can see www folder double click on this here we need to create the projects in order to create a project first we need to create a folder right click select new and click on folder i am naming it as first project this first project folder should reflect in wm server web page open this here you can see localhost just refresh it under the projects you can see first project now we are going to make this first project as virtual host so that it can be readily accessible for us i will show you how to do that open the tray icon and select the wm server and here you can see virtual host click on the virtual host management on the screen you can see wm virtual host management web page here we need to give the name of the virtual host with no space and no underscore i'm giving as first project now we need to give the absolute path of the virtual host like uh, cwm ww project i'm going to show you open c drive wm server open the ww folder this first project double click and select this path right click copy paste it here and click on this start the creation modification of the virtual host just click on this here you can see the successful message the files have been modified virtual host first project was created modified go to the wm server home page and just refresh here you can see first project your virtual host first project we need to restart all services in order to get this virtual host effect just restart all services now you can see all services are running once again you might be getting doubt why do we need this virtual host well whenever you open wm server localhost web page you can directly access your folder no need to type in url for this reason we have created virtual host go back to the tray icon select the wm server here you can see the php my admin just select this php my admin this is a php my admin page username will be root as of now we did not set any password so let it be and server choice we have two servers mariadb and mysql i am going with the mysql just log in this is mysql database here you can see the default databases now we are going to create a new database click on this new now we need to provide a database name i'm giving as project one click on create here you can see project one database has been created successfully we can start creating new tables also right now i don't want to create new table in this way we can create a database in php my admin and also we can create tables also and also we can insert the records so far we have successfully configured wm server environment now let's move on to the final step that is we are going to execute a small php script so so that our environment is working perfectly or not now open notepad plus plus and write this piece of code echo hello text today 82 viewer save this as we need to save this in wamp 64 folder here ww dot under first project we need to save this here we need to save with file name i am giving as test and file type should be php okay just save here you can see the php language font so we are going to execute this piece of code now open wamp server localhost home page and under the virtual host click on this first project this is your first project folder here you can see we have saved this test.php here just click on this it got executed and here you can see the message hello text studio 82 viewers in this way we can execute the php code that's all guys we have successfully installed wm server 64 bit latest version 3.3.0 on windows 11 operating system without any error that's it guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video your comments are highly valuable thank you guys